Whether they are playing pretend in Pillow Cat's bedroom or changing up hairstyles in Murcat's bathroom, Gabby and the Gabby Cats love to play dress up. Today, I'm getting crafty rhythmic and making headbands inspired by all of the Gabby Cats. Come on, let's give it a go together. First up, let's make some pandy ears. Gabby's ears to get tiny look just like pandies, so when you wear these ears, you can look like Pandy or Gabby. Pandy is a white cat, so I'm starting by covering my headband in white fabric. Cardboard is sturdy material for making kitty cat ears. this headband look like our friend Pandy, let's color one ear black. Catastic! The insides of Pandy's ears are pink, and to make this look like Gabby's headband, I'm using sparkles. All that's left to do is attach each ear. Now we can all match Gabby and Pandy. Baby Box is one crafty cat, so I'm making her headband with a cardboard base in blue paper to look like her dress. Her dress is covered in glitter-rific polka dots. Baby Box has bright pink ears, with light pink insides. Now I have a headband to wear anytime I'm feeling crafty rific. I'm pretty great at making things. Gabby and Pandy love to bakey with cakey, so let's make some cakey ears. Cakey looks like a cupcake, and his body looks like a pink and blue cupcake liner. So I'm wrapping the bottom of the headband in pink and blue hair ties. I'll wrap the rest of the headband in fluffy white yarn to look like Cakey's frosting head. Each one of Cakey's ears looks like a swirly frosting tip. These pen caps are perfect for Cakey's sprinkles. This headband is ready for a sprinkle party. Now for everyone's favorite sneaky kitty, Cat Rat. Cat Rat is blue and furry, and I have just the fabric to use as the base of his headband. He has tall, skinny ears with dark blue tips. Can't forget the pink insides. Now it's time to add Cat Rat's signature dark blue stripes. A meowsing. This headband is fit for one cool cat. Nicely done! Time to make a headband inspired by the dollhouse's resident scientist, Murcat. Her skin is seafoam green, so I'm making the base of the headband the same color. Murcat is covered in shimmering sea scales, so I'm using this glittery confetti and this piece of foam to make scales for my headband. Murcat wears a fuchsia pink sea star on her head. I'm making mine out of pink clay. All that's left to finish my Murcat headband is her kitty cat ears. This 
Lisa's one cute headband. <gasps> Shimmering sea scales! Gabby loves playing dress up in Pillow Cat's bedroom. I'm making a headband so I can dress up like Pillow Cat. Pillow Cat is a squeezy, cuddly, cat-shaped pillow. So I'm starting this headband by covering it in pillow stuffing. Her body is made of colorful patchwork fabric. I need to cover the ends to make sure no stuffing escapes. Pillow Cat's fabric is sewn together with colorful threads. I'm using this yarn to show the stitches on the headband. I hear Pillow Cat's story time is best heard with kitty cat ears. Pawtastic! With this Pillow Cat headband, I'm ready for dress up, a story, or even a cat nap. Oh! Was I catnapping? Now it's time to get my groove on. DJ Catnip in the house. DJ Catnip has purple fur. So I'm starting with purple fabric on my headband. For DJ Catnip's funky stripes, I'm adding sticky tape and using little hair scrunchies for the different colors. I'm making the ears of my headband sparkly, just like DJ Catnip's hoodie. Groovy! Wearing this headband, I'll be ready to dance it out, mix up beats, or learn a new instrument. Vroom vroom, start your engines. It's time to make a Carlita headband. I'm starting by making this headband sparkly and purple, like Carlita's paint. Carlita's ears are pretty small, so I'll add two little ears to the headband. She zooms around the dollhouse thanks to her speedy wheels. And we can't forget her blue racing stripe. With this Carlita headband, I'm ready to race off to my next adventure. Let's fly over to the fairy tale garden to make our kitty fairy headband. Kitty Fairy has fluffy dandelions that sprout out of her head. To make dandelions, I'm covering a pipe cleaner in green tape and attaching it to a white pom-pom. Now it's time to make her pink ears. Kitty Fairy is an expert at garden magic and knows how to grow the prettiest flowers, just like the one she wears on her head. I'm using green foam for the leaves, white foam for the petals, and yellow pom-poms for the centers. Ta-da! Anything feels possible with my Kitty Fairy headband. I hope you had fun watching me create headbands inspired by our Gabby Cat friends. Try making one of these headbands so you too can express your catitude. Get ready to sip in style with these water bottles inspired by Cakey, Pandy, and Mercat. Let's get started. I'm using some white foam to make Cakey's frosting face. Now for his eyes and his pink sprinkle nose. use markers to draw his mouth. 
By painting wooden beads, I have a bunch of sprinkles for Cakey's whiskers. Sprinkleific! Now I'm using these shiny foil papers to make Cakey's body. I'm adding a zigzag pattern to the top to make it look like a cupcake wrapper. When Cakey gets really happy or really sad, it's a sprinkle party! And there you have it! It's me! Our Cakey water bottle is ready to keep you refreshed in the sweetest way possible. Now it's time to make a potastic Pandy Paws water bottle. I think you're really gonna like it! I'm using foam for his muzzle, nose, and whiskers. And some googly eyes for our goofy pal. I love it! Now I'll cut out some triangles for his kitty ears. You look good! Let's make this water bottle cat-tastic with a pandy tail. I'm using clay and shaping it into a handle that will fit on my water bottle. After it dries, I'm coloring the tip black, like pandies. The tail really brings it all together. I think this water bottle deserves a high paw. Now you have a pandy pal to remind you to stay hydrated. Oh, this is so exciting! Who's next? Time to dive into our next DIY, a Mercat water bottle. Spectacular! For Mercat's fur, I'm adding sea foam green tissue paper to the bottle. A mixture of glue and water will make the paper stick. Let it dry. Mertastic! <laughs> I'm using foam for Mercat's eyes and cheeks. And a heart shaped bead for her nose. <laughs> I'm just so excited! Time to draw on her eyelashes and her cat-tastic smile. She wouldn't be Mercat without her. Shimmering sea scales! I'm using felt for her star. Mercat likes to splash and dive using her sparkly tail. Time to add these bubble stickers because bubbles make everything better. Now you have a Mercat bottle for your water, juice, or potions. I hope you enjoyed creating these Gabby Cat inspired water bottles. Carry them with you wherever you go and let your favorite Gabby Cats keep you company. For more crafty rific fun, don't forget to watch Gabby's Dollhouse on Netflix. Show up to school in style with these Mercat and Kitty Fairy shoes. Let's get our first shoe started with the Dollhouse's resident scientist, Mercat. <laughs> I'm just so excited! Mercat's fur is seafoam green, so I'm starting with a shoe of the same color. Green, like me! This blue sequin stripe will have you looking good and feeling good. I'm using felt to make a paw print like Mercat's. She wears a bright pink star on her head, so let's add one to the shoe. Yes, the pink star! It's just like the one I wear. I'm using sequin to add Mercat's mermaid scales to the toe of the shoe. Shimmering sea scales! So sparkly. Let's give our shoe kitty ears just like Mercat's. I'll add them to the tongue of my shoe. And now it's Captabulous. This shiny ribbon reminds me of one of Mercat's lotions and potions. Let's make it a shoelace. Time to lace up my sneaker to get the perfect fit. Bubbles make everything better, so let's add these stickers as the finishing touch. Now this shoe is the bubbles. Mertastic! <laughs> Let's use some garden magic to transform these pink shoes into Kitty Fairy. Leaping lilies, let's do it! Kitty Fairy lives in the fairy tale garden, so I'm starting with a sparkly grass green stripe on my shoe. Sparkles come out of her flower bud tail. Let's add one to the shoe. Flowerific! Kitty Fairy uses her tail to help all her garden friends grow. Let's make the shoe extra magical with fairy wings. To make her wings, I'm adding shimmery pink paper to a piece of plastic. Time to draw the flowery designs on her wings. Now I can fly into school in style. 
by using your fairy wings, of course. I'm adding green felt to my shoe so it looks like the grass in Kitty Fairy's garden. Yellow and white fabric flowers look like Kitty Fairy's flower crown. Time to make our garden grow by adding the beads to our ribbon shoelace. Flower rific! And now it's time to make the Deedly Boppers! When I add these white fluff balls to the tips of the laces, they look just like Kitty Fairy's Deedly Boppers. Catastic! This Kitty Fairy shoe is magical! Now you can bring your favorite Gabby Cats with you wherever you go. I hope you enjoyed making these crafty Riffic shoes today. For more fun crafts, watch Gabby's Dollhouse on Netflix. Get funky for back to school with a groovy DJ Catnip backpack. It's DJ Catnip in the house. Where should we start? I'll start by using felt to cut out DJ Catnip's purple stripes. He has a big smile and a little blue nose. I'll make two pink circles for his cheeks. Now I'm adding two silly googly eyes. My purple backpack is the same color as DJ Catnip's fur. I'm smiling! DJ Catnip uses the bright pink pocket on his hoodie to hold things. I'm using foam and felt to make the pocket on my backpack look like his. His outfit wouldn't be complete without a sparkly pink hoodie. Groovy! This backpack needs DJ Catnip's kitty ears. Foam will help these kitty ears stand up on my backpack. I love the look! I'm painting some wooden beads pink. Adding pink beads to the backpack zippers makes them look like the drawstrings on DJ Catnip's hoodie. DJ Catnip has colorful stripes on his arms and legs, so I'm using pipe cleaners to add some to the straps of my backpack. Awesome! This DJ Catnip backpack is ready to get moving and grooving. So let's add a disco ball. When DJ Catnip's disco ball comes out, it's a dance party. Let's boogie. I think it's time to get this kitty cat party bumping. Now you can take the party with you wherever you go. I hope you enjoyed making this groovy DJ Catnip backpack with me. For more fun crafts, watch Gabby's Dollhouse on Netflix. My name is Maddie, and this is my cat, Marshmallow. I'm building Marshmallow a new cat tree inspired by Gabby's dollhouse. But I'm going to let Marshmallow design the cat tree himself. Let's get started. 
The first thing I need to know is how many platforms this cat tree will have. What do you think, Marshmallow? Two, three, four, or five platforms? What Marshmallow wants, Marshmallow gets. Four platforms it is. Now, Marshmallow, do you want the post to be painted different colors or wrapped in string like scratch posts? Scratch post! To do this, I'm going to glue colored thick rope around each tube. Three of the four tubes are wrapped in blue rope. This blue rope looks like the outside of the dollhouse. And this pink rope reminds me of the catavator. It's time to start decorating each platform, which will be designed based off the rooms in the dollhouse. But which ones? Marshmallow, which room of the dollhouse should the lowest platform be inspired by? Music room, kitchen, or bathroom? Marshmallow picks music room. Perfect. What if we gave Marshmallow a place to rest, like the Xyla sofa? Let's use pieces of scratch board to make the couch. Then decorate with colorful strips of paper in all the colors of the rainbow. A scratch board sofa? Awesome! What else should we add to the music room platform? Let's have Marshmallow decide. Rug, disco ball, drums, or fairy lights. Okay, Marshmallow, pick two. I said two, Marshmallow. Oh well, let's just do them all. Disco ball. Drums. Let's move on to the next platform. What room of the dollhouse should this platform look like? Playroom, bedroom, garden. The fairy tale garden? This will be so fun to decorate. I want to give Marshmallow something to snack on while he explores. Let's make a catnip toy. What should it look like? Flower, rainbow, teapot. A flower? I have the most brilliant idea. I'm going to use these round catnip trees to look like flowers in Kitty Fairy's garden. Now on to the top platform. Crafty Rithic. The craft room is so full of colors and neat materials. I'd like to replicate the cat container Baby Box uses to hold craft supplies. Marshmallow, do you have a preference for what color it is? Where'd he go? Guess I'll pick yellow cat box. I'll cover the box in yellow paper, then use green to decorate. Two eyes, two ears, and a tiny little cat nose. It's perfect. Let's add that to the platform. There's still so much room left here. What else can we make? Marshmallow, would you rather rainbow streamers or bulletin board? Great choice. I'm going to cut the rainbow streamers out of felt and hang them from the roof platform. And why not add a bulletin board too? And there you have it. Our three platforms are finished. The last thing to do is a pink cat bed that looks like the roof of the dollhouse. Now that Marshmallow's new cat tree is complete, let's show it to him. Here he comes. He loves it. That was such an amusing project. I hope you loved it too. I'm going to go play with Marshmallow on his new cat tree. Maybe next time we'll turn my entire bedroom into Gabby's dollhouse. Until next time, bye.
My name is Tessa and I have the perfect summer craft for you. I'm going to show you how to fly like a Gabby cat with these DIY kites inspired by Gabby's dollhouse. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make my favorite cat, Pandy. And the best part is you can make any Gabby cat you want. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I'm so excited. To make a Pandy kite, you'll need paper, a pencil, string, glue, scissors, a stapler, a hole punch, pipe cleaners, and ribbon. Now let's get crafting. And remember, you can always ask a grown up for help. First, fold your paper in half like you're making a greeting card. Since I'm making Pandy, I'm using white paper. Make sure the folded edge is on the left. Now draw a triangle for a cat ear in the top corner. Next, draw a line connecting the ear to the fold and another line to the edge of the paper. Cut along the line you drew and open your paper. You made a pandy face. Next, let's add pandy soft gray snow. Cut a big upside down U shape from gray paper and glue it down in the center of the face you made. Oh gosh, this glue is very drippy. Now fold your pandy closed again. Pull one of the bottom corners back towards the fold, like this. Now do the same on the other side. Now have a grown-up help you staple both corners in place. Thank you. You're welcome. Then make a hole at the bottom of your kite. Whoops, I hole punched the back. I got a hole punched the front. We'll tie our string through this hole later. Now for my favorite part. It's time to decorate and make our pandy kite come to life. Oh, hi, it's me. Using pink paper, cut two triangles for Pandy's ears. And a heart for Pandy's adorable little nose. To make eyes, cut two ovals from white paper. And two smaller ovals from black paper. You can cut extra white circles to make Pandy's eyes sparkle. Next, cut one smaller black triangle for Pandy's signature black ear. Pandy paws! <laughs> Last, we're making whiskers with pipe cleaners. Now glue everything into place and wait for it to dry. For extra razzle dazzle, glue streamers onto your kite. And finally, tie a string through the hole you made earlier. And you're ready to fly like a Gabby cat. I'm always up for whatever when I'm with you. Thanks for crafting with me. I hope you have a catastic time flying all your kites with your pals this summer. And don't forget to catch Gabby's dollhouse. Now streaming on Netflix. Bye! DreamWorks Gabby's Dollhouse. Yeah.